Hi folks, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to install an SSD drive into a laptop that already has an SSD drive in it where you don't have any free slots. So what you'll have is two SSD drives in the laptop. Why would you do that? Because SSD drives are much faster than conventional hard disk drives. In fact, uh, moving to SSD is probably the single thing you can do that will improve laptop performance. Usually there are three ways to do this. One is to use your existing DVD drive slot. I'm not going to go into that. There are many videos that explain how to do that. Another way is to use a free SSD drive slot in your laptop. You may have one. Many laptops do. The third way is to uh, actually use your hard disk drive slot. So this video is focused on people who are in that situation. They have a laptop, they have an SSD drive in it. They would like to add an SSD drive and keep their existing SSD drive. And they are going to use their hard disk drive slot. So in order to do this, we need a couple of things. You need tools. You can purchase a mobile phone repair kit, which will have a screwdriver and a lot of the tools you need. I've got them here. You need a tool, to, a pry tool to open the laptop. You can use a credit card or something like that, but even better if you've got one of these. Screwdriver with a Phillips screwdriver head on it. You'll need an SSD drive. Uh, in this video, we're going to use a Samsung M2 Evo SSD. You'll also need an adapter to connect the SSD drive to your HDD SATA slot. I'm going to put all the details of the equipment I use in the description below. We'll still be able to do this on many laptops, even if you don't have the specific model that I'm using. The other thing to be sure of is that your SSD drive is compatible with the adapter that you purchase and also the laptop that you're using. SSD drive I'm using in its, in its original box. This is a SATA HDD connector to SSD drive. You can get uh, any compatible uh, SATA adapter. Okay, so let's get started. This laptop that we're working on is uh, an Asus VivoBook. You can see the model number and details there. It's brand new. Unscrew the screws holding the laptop together. We've got a couple here. This one here, 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 here and here. So just take a Phillips head screwdriver. So you can see it looks sort of like that. Start unscrewing the screws from the laptop. I would use a tray of some kind to keep the screws. When you do this, just be gentle with removing the screws. You'll notice this front screw is smaller than the others, so I would keep them separately. So it's the front corners of the laptop have two short screws. Another screw that will be a bit different is this one right at the back. You'll notice this one here is a longer screw. So the next part is to remove the back to laptop rests or feet because these actually have screws underneath them. So it's okay to remove these, just do it gently. You can use a tool like this, uh, any other tool that's sort of flat headed you can use. What you want to do is just gently prise them up. See, so that actually just comes off. Just put that to one side and you want to do the same thing on the other back, back side of the laptop. You can also use a tool like this. Now we unscrew these two black screws at the back. These are different screws again, so I keep them separate to the others.
Now we're going to gently separate the laptop casing from the rest of the laptop. Now you can do this uh, using a tool like that or you can use a credit card or something similar but what you do is you can start perhaps at the corner just separate that so you can actually see that comes apart like so now you just use this tool and you just gently run it along the side like that and just put it run it all the way along so you can actually see the back of the laptop is separating now run it all the way down there Now you should find the, lap, the back of the casing of the laptop should pretty much just come off. Sometimes you need to do a little bit more. You might need to just pull that to there, like so. Now you'll find the back of the, the casing will come off. You can see here that we have a, a bay for SSD drive, that's the existing SSD drive. Uh, you can see here we have a slot for an HDD drive with a SATA connector. So you can see the connector there. Now what you need to do is take the adapter that you've purchased. So there are a couple of options for this, but this is a uh, M2 SSD to SATA 2.5 inch adapter. So you can see here, it actually has a slot for an SSD drive. Make sure that you have the right kind of adapter for your SSD drive. What we're using today is this Samsung SSD drive. This is an Evo 860 SSD. So the first thing to do is to put the SSD drive into your adapter. What you do, just screw this part in here at the back. So it should come with some case screws. So just screw that in if it's this kind of SSD drive. So you just connect that that way. Put that flat like so. Take your screw from there. You can see there. Screw that in the back. Make sure it's straight. Be sure not to over tighten any of these. So before you start working on the drive uh, components of the laptop, it's worth disconnecting the battery. So if you just look here, we have connected to the battery. To disconnect it, just use a tool like this. And you just want to gently push this part back like so. And then you just want to gently, gently lift this up. There you go, so that battery is disconnected. So what you'll see is that there's a caddy here, which is for the adapter or HDD drive. So we'll remove that. Again, I keep these screws separate to all the others. You'll find there are two longer ones and two shorter ones. So you'll find that this caddy will just lift out. So take your adapter with the M2 SSD connected and what we'll do is we'll put it inside the caddy here. Your laptop uh, might not have a caddy but certainly the Asus Vivo book does. So 
So you should have some case screws that would have come with the adapter. If you do have a screwdriver that uh, is magnetized, that makes it easier to do this. Okay, once that's in, the next thing is just to connect that up. So just take your caddy with the M2 drive, put it in here like so. You should find that it just slides into place. So the two shoulder screws go at the back. put the other screws back in to secure it. So now you can see you've got two SSD drives. You've got one SSD drive here, which is SanDisk that came with the laptop. It's a 500 gigabyte drive. And you also have your uh, Samsung 250 gig drive. So a total of 750 gigs with this laptop now. Before we put the casing back on the laptop, we're going to reconnect the battery. So you just want to gently put it back into position. You actually want to slide this metallic cover over the top. To secure it in place and just push down on the side as you do that. So to put the laptop back together you just take the casing, put it down in position, just gently press on the sides. You'll hear it start to clip back into place as you do this. Just be gentle with it as you do this. So I'd probably start with the two screws here which are for the feet back of the laptop. Just be careful not to over tighten any of the screws. Now the next one you can do is this longer screw which actually goes at the back of the laptop. So that's this one here. So you can hear it's still clicking into place. I'll put these other ones in. Press down around here. Just make sure that it's all clipped in around the edges. If you see any bumps around the edges, just give it a gentle push.
The last two screws are these smaller ones here. So you just got two short screws for the front. Okay, finally you want to put these rubber rests back in position. If you've opened the laptop many times and the glue is starting to lose its adhesiveness, you can add glue there. But I found that there's no problem with removing these and putting them back multiple times. Just press down firmly. Same over here on this side. Just take this rubber foot back into position. Okay, now you're done and you have two SSD drives in your laptop.